All right. So um, the major reason why we use countdown timer is to create a sense of urgency when trying to get a customer. Now, let's go to our page, landing page to create one, right? And the Elementor has, in, okay, Elementor has integrated this, um, the countdown timer to the element here. So for us to do that, click the plus sign. Then if you can't quickly find it, just come here and type countdown. Now we have the countdown here, drag it and put it here. Now when you've done that, you'll see some other options that are displayed here. All right, now it says, what is the type you want to be choosing? You go for evergreen timer. And then you can choose these days, you can switch it off if you want to show only hours. And then you can also as well format the background color by going to styles, all right? You can decide to switch off the hours to show only the minutes and the seconds. But in our case, let's switch on the hours. So we have 23 hours, 58 minutes, 32 seconds left. So whenever a customer comes like this to see the countdown timer, let's take, for example, we'll be adding like maybe an offer. You are giving an offer for a product and then you are telling them this offer expires in 23 hours, 58 minutes, 17, 16 seconds. So this is going to create a sense of urgency, okay, enabling the customer to quickly take action, maybe purchasing the course or getting the offer. Now, going to the styles, we said initially that we are going to be using the team color blue here. So we, first of all, we have the background color here. We have to, let's copy our color that we pasted here. Let's copy the color and then make it blue. Okay. Then we can as well, right now, when we click on this section, we can apply color to that our section by going to style. Then in the background section here, click on classic. We can also add an image to that background. Let's take, for example, we can add an image to that section. Okay, let's say we want to add this image here. Okay, so we can add an image there, but it's not all that very effective. So let's delete the image and then we'll be adding color and let's make it blue color. Right, so the background of that section is now blue. Now you can as well add borders to this by going to borders, then going to maybe solid. All right, control Z. All right, let's get back to coming. So let's click on the um, countdown. Just click on any of the section inside. Now notice what happened. Once you click on this six dot here, you are editing the section. So every style you are applying is going to be applied to the section. But when you click inside, you are trying to edit the countdown timer. So now we want to apply borders to each of these um, elements here, the hours, the minute, and the seconds. And go to styles, then under the border type, choose solid. And in the border width, let's go with one or two to say. Then in the border radius, you are going to be choosing 10, right? 10 for border radius. Okay, for the border radius. Okay. All right. All right, so when you've done that, you can click on update. So this is how to apply the countdown timer to your landing page. Right, you can as well increase or decrease the font sizes of this by going to your styles, right? Then going to the content. Then under the content, you can change either the labels or the digits. The digits are the 23, 55, and 17. Now you can change the font style here to let's say popping or any of the font styles you know which you want to use. And then you can as well change the font size here. All right, you can work on the font sizes here. And then um, we have other options here called the, 
You can also change the color of that text from white to any other color you wish to change it to, but let's leave it as white. And um, so that is basically all we want to do now. And then um, notice that you can as well change the, the labels here and change the color for the labels here, but we leave it as white. And then as well, you can move this, this element up. So we can move this element or that section to anywhere you want to place the countdown timer, all right? Move it to anywhere you want to place it, okay? Now in our advanced section of the styling, we'll be seeing how to, you know, to make an object static, maybe stick to the bottom or stick to the top, so that as we scroll this, the countdown timer is going to stick to the bottom of our page. All right, thank you so much for joining me in this part of the lesson, and I'll be seeing you in our next lecture.